lineups. You know, Connecticut last year used the same starting lineup the entire season. They have a, a total has been on the floor. Derek Fisher looking for a little more. In their second game, first and third quarters were the real issue for them in terms of energy. Bonner banks it. Deflection ends up with LA. Parker trying to go around the back, lost the handle. Here comes Jasmine Thomas. Thomas's pull up on cue. Becca is Lobo with you from our studios in Bristol. Holly Rowe inside the Wubble in Bradenton, Florida. Uh, but in their second game, it was more quarter court, and uh, and they had some difficulties. Any there. kind of imprint on the WNBA, and I remember Chanae saying like, "Oh, you don't understand." Like, Williams leaves it. Nice decision and, there. Uh, get teammates open. Jasmine Thomas, no. Brianna Jones trying to get it to go. Could not, but kept it alive for Bria Holmes. Her float oh, looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks great. Oh, no look dime. Chelsea in the semifinals last year, but. Kurt Miller expected her to have a big game tonight. Yeah, part of that is Jasmine Thomas. Down to Holly Rowe during the finals last year, and then LeBron was tweeting about it. It's Gray nasty on the three. Another chance here for Connecticut. Delana Bonners. Bonner back up, back up, back up. Here is Gray motoring in and spinning. Thomas tried to force a pass, could not. Good hands from Augustus. Gray eyes up, shovels to Parker for the lane. We've seen what Chelsea Gray has done in terms of her own scoring, but getting the ball to Candace Parker on time. I don't know, Ryan. You think that was the right call? Many times throughout the last few years that you know, someone I know will, will dive in and a road team in these games. But of course, when we say hosts are at, well, all the games are... It also affects how they're you know, pumping in sounds in arena. Four on four. Parker, at it stripped. Good hands by Bonner. Basket hanging. Heidemann lays it in. Nice find. Wow, what a dunk. Parker flips it up. And back. Here. By the way, Brittany Sykes back on the floor for LA with two fouls. That one was partially rejected, I believe, by Parker. Nice find, Sykes. And about his experience in basketball as an openly gay man, he realized, you know what? I need. Connecticut a plus six in points off turnovers thus far. Jones keeps it alive. Queen of Mosqueda Lewis hits the three. Bonner from 16. You felt pretty good about their prospects. Bonner had it stripped. Here comes Williams, two on one with Gray. Gray gets hit, finishes. And a collision between someone with Heidemann's frame and Chelsea Graham's Gray's frame. Chelsea Gray's gonna win. <laughs> Heidemann was still moving, and fatigue is playing any part of this for, for Alyssa Thomas. She's now 0 for 7. This is a player who played 38 minutes. She's gonna continue to be a workhorse. But the one place, you know, some of that fatigue may show up is finishing your shots. Raquana Williams has started to get it dropping from deep. Late in the semifinals against Connecticut, but Raquana really had fit nicely with this group. Bonner on the other side. Williams finds the cutter of Gumake who lays it in. Standing from three point range in game number two. She is going to be so fun to watch. So happy she's on our air several times. She make that she just wasn't quite able to finish. Yeah, and a little bit of a surprise. Little jockeying between TRP and Alyssa Thomas. it underneath, and the layup doesn't go for Neka Gumake. And now a chance in transition for Alyssa Thomas, who lays down. Uh, the first one was bubble gum. The second one is cotton candy. Ooh. Both 10 points now, leading all scores for LA. Tawana Bonner, the high scorer for the game, and she's minutes. She's 11th all-time in WNBA history in points. Minnesota now with LA and through the first two games. 
really played well. Yeah, and it, LA. Derek Fisher breaking that out here in game three of the 2020 WNBA season. Alyssa Thomas. Alyssa Thomas here just overpowering Simone Augustus. For her contact on Alyssa Thomas, impossible <laughs> from the defense of Brianna Jones. <laughs> Bonner buries the three. Simone Augustus is. Augustus hits another jump. Jones. Good anticipation by Sykes. Flips it ahead to Cooper for the lay. Augustus off one leg. And a lot more left in her game here in LA. Well, I mean, it, and it happens, right? Mardi Gras. So don't you come incorrect on Simone's dancing, please. <laughs> Is that how? Yeah. I may have that exact pair, Rebecca. You may. Simone Augustus. Oh, the shoes. And after starting this game struggling from was the right personality for this L.A. group, too. Yeah. Cooper Abrams. Cooper cradles it up and scoops it in. Gray, Weiss, Cooper, Parker, and Ruffin Pratt, the five on the floor for L.A. And She's been terrific. She has not missed a beat from her. this fourth quarter. Ryan Ruko, Rebecca Lobo, with you from Bristol. Holly Rowe in the Here's Thomas. Jasmine to Alyssa. Alyssa too strong. The follow. Game. Simone Augustus can't finish on the follow. She does. Dewana Bonner. Finds the cutter, and Holmes plays it in. And Thomas misses both free throws at a time where Connecticut obviously needs the points that are now 19 of 28 from the line. How many buckets does she get every game just because she runs harder than the other post players? Lob inside, and another bucket. Alyssa Thomas feeding Bonner. The turnaround is good. Cooper on the block, spinning around, couldn't finish. Agulbake, the offensive rebound, another chance, and she gets it to go. Six. Instead, it's an eight-point game because of her effort. And this is on the heels of her beating. Four everything. points to lead the way for Connecticut. Thomas out of the double, throws it away. Gray at it strip, loose ball. Connecticut ends up with it. Here's Jasmine Thomas. Holmes loses it. Agumake down the floor. Taya Cooper seals it. Point lead, 31.5 seconds to go. Jamelos is three. is good. Cooper will pull. Thomas the rebound. It's all cosmetic at this point. Holmes lays it in. And that will do it. The L.A. Sparks. Pick up their second win of the season as Connecticut is still seeking its first. 81-76 the final.